I am one of a billion people guilty of this, texting with our head down. Yeah, and in fact, the problem is becoming so widespread, doctors are now labeling the epidemic text neck because the weight of looking down at your phone is literally bending your neck. And Mr. Two's Natasha Verma takes us into one clinic where teens are in and out of rehab for severe neck injuries. Like many teens, Matthew David from Naples is a big texter. You're picking your child up from school. All the kids are walking out of the school with their heads down. He didn't think twice until he felt a sharp pain. I could feel it like a lot in like my neck and my head hurt. He met with his chiropractor who examined his neck when the x-rays came back. That was astounding. We were, it was heartbreaking, honestly, how significant the damage was. Matthew's x-rays show full-blown degeneration with arthritis. This is what text neck actually looks like on an x-ray. You can see the curve in the neck is actually reversing the opposite way. A head weighs about a dozen pounds. When slumped over, doctors say it adds 50 pounds to the spine. It puts all that pressure and tension on the spinal cord and the nerve tissue on the inside, and wherever those nerves go, that's where we're gonna have problems. One of those problems, difficulty breathing. And I knew that that wasn't the path as a parent that I wanted to go down. To prevent text neck, doctors say text at eye level to keep that extra stress off your neck. Now Matthew is in rehab to reverse the effects of text neck, doing exercises to strengthen his spine. What's crazy is we're seeing it happen more and more and we're having we're seeing it happen younger and younger. The good news? He's changing his texting habits. A hard lesson learned. How are you feeling? A lot better. In Naples, Natasha Verma, NBC2.